Pulse. It's the morning matches live across the nation on Pulse 95 Radio. Uh, drop us a message on 4215 if you've got any particular questions surrounding the weather because we're very kindly joined by Isra Al-Nakbi who is a senior forecaster at the Weather Bureau of the United Arab Emirates. It is the NCM. Very good morning to you, Isra. Good morning for everyone. Well, we're looking forward to this conversation because we just witnessed one of the largest rainfalls in our 75-year history as well, broken all records. The big question, uh, I'm sure the NCM is busy answering this, um, was it cloud seeding? What happened? Why did the storm take place? Um, it was like the strong because of the deepening of the lower pressure in the upper air and the lower levels caused these types of activities to happen. But for the cloud seeding part was not the reason because no cloud seeding operations was have been done during this event. It all happened naturally. And is this level of rainfall normal for this time of the year? Yes, it's normal to have this accumulated uh, rainfall for two to three days. But less than 24 hours, it was historical, as you already mentioned, for the past uh, 57 years. And do we have any official stats? Um, we you know because we saw there's a lot of streets and highways that were you know waterlogged in, in Dubai and in Sharjah as well. How much rainfall did the cities receive? Uh, most of them was above 100, which was amazing, seriously. Wow! And uh, yeah. you know, to to put things into context, a lot to perspective a lot of people, our range is normally 140 to 200 millimeters of rainfall. How much rainfall do we normally get? And it, 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 how, how intense was this particular incident? Yes, the surprise will be that we are normally, because as you know, our desert climate. So the yearly, we have like uh, an average of 100 between 150. But having this amount of rain in one day or two days continuously was very amazing mm. and surprising. When you say surprising, because uh, we do know that most of the rain happens in the in the winters. Now we are almost touching the boundary of summer. Is this was it normal to have it during this time, or is this is this something that we, your team normally predicts? No, at this time of you know that period between changing the seasons from summer from winter to summer, like in April, uh, there is like a rapid change in the pressure system which causes these uh, abnormal events to happen. So we are expecting it should be abnormal or normal because mm. at this time of year, it can happen. Exactly. And um, now, can you explain to our listeners, because you know, there will be a lot of critical minds still be thinking, yeah, you know, I think this is cloud seeding. They might be wrong. Uh, but, but if you can talk to us a little bit about how it works normally, it, does, does cloud seeding really affect the environment too much? Or is it something that, uh, you know, is, is it just a nudge to the clouds? How does it all work? Uh, it's not affecting the climate because it's all all the materials we are using is natural materials even if it doesn't uh, give or improve the clouds it's not, it will not affect the climate the process of the cloud seeding is by scattering i scattered like a hygroscopic substance it's a natural substance which attract the moisture of the droplets in the base of the cloud there is a vertical air current carry these substances into the clouds inside the clouds. It becomes like an ideal nuclei for the water vapor to condense on. So it, ca- uh, it helps us to merge the fine droplets and initiate the collision process between the droplets, which increase for us the size and the width, uh, the wa- uh, uh, weight of the droplets, which lead them for, to fall from the clouds due to the gravity because the gravity will affect the large droplets. So it treats the ground as an rainfall. Okay. And um, if you can talk to us a little bit about behind the scenes of, you know, does your team find out or do they research in terms of, you know, how, how, how uh, the rain clouds are approaching? Um, how does it all work in terms of analyzing and deciding, okay, you know, we, we spot a rain cloud and let, let's go for the flights? Yes. Uh, first, as a, you need as a cloud seeding or you need it as a forecast predict the rain or as the cloud seeding process? As a cloud seeding process. Okay, as a cloud seeding process, they have like literally, uh, they predict for the weather for mm. the next coming five days. Okay. Based on these five days, they can um, 
uh, manage with the pilots, the um, engineers in the airport to be standby as they detect some clouds, which is still in the stage not uh, to be seeded. They send the pilot to the, to the cloud so they can investigate the cloud, uh, give the information. And also I have the radar here, mm-hmm. uh, which I can also see the vertical of the clouds and many phenomena or many parameters of these clouds. So I can decide if I can see this cloud or not based on the characteristics of this cloud. I mm. can uh, give the order to burn stairs on it. Okay, and and how far in terms of forecasting as well? How far ahead can we can we see? Because we saw the notifications that came in, and the NCM was you know quite active to announce on local media that you know we have rain coming on Tuesday and Wednesday, and then they gave us these warnings. Um, how far ahead can you can you predict and tell? Yes, we can monitor the events within 10 to 15 days ahead. Oh. But for the internal, uh, like we are, or the normally the forecast and the senior forecast, we uh, see that. But for the public, we only uh, shoot for the coming five days to, to be more accurate. Right. Okay. Now, this is going to be a big, big question. A lot of people will be thinking, should I get my car washed now? Should I even call my gardener to, to fix my garden? Yes, uh, <laughs> of course. It will be clear sky, partly cloudy at times. Few clouds over the northern areas for today and eastern areas for today and tomorrow. Uh, there is no any probability or chance for rain. It's only partly cloudy. And also, we have the probability of low governance over some coastal and eternal area from today. Saturday early morning. Okay, so we, we can have our barbecues and we can all relax now, enjoy the great weather. Yes. <laughs> yeah, after these crazy two days, I think, yeah, we need it. <laughs> exactly. Well, thank you very much for joining us, uh, Isra Naqbi, who is a senior forecaster at the Weather Bureau at the uh, NCM UAE. Uh, thank you very much for your time. Welcome anytime. Well, that was a great conversation. And if you'd like to catch it as a podcast, you can do so on SoundCloud, Apple Podcasts and Spotify. It was a crazy few days for us. Uh, I hope you're all keeping safe and staying at home. Do drop us a message on 4215 if you've got any particular stories from the weather conditions to report to us. You're listening to The Morning Majlis only on Pulse95.